the first thing to understand when uh, when you're opening Video Scribe, uh, because you download it from the internet, most computers are set to not allow this. So in order to bypass that, rather than just click on the file, you want to control click it, and that will allow you to bypass that so you can actually open a file from the internet. Uh, so once you get into your Video Scribe, it does give you a few tutorials, but eventually you get to this page uh, where you're allowed to make a new file where we have that plus sign. That allows us to create a new scribe. I'm going to go to one that I've already made just so that I can teach some things a little bit faster here. All right, so I'm going to click on this example one here. And so here's my file. Um, first of all, it's real important to save these things as we go on. Uh, you don't want to lose all this work that you put into it. Uh, it's very e easy to bring an image from the canvas. I can actually just click on this image up here. And let's say I want to do something with a person in there. I just do a search on this file. Some of these are actually paid for, but most of them are free. And so I can get a picture of uh, someone looking at his watch here. And uh, I can actually click on this and drag it to a new part of the canvas in here, uh, anywhere I want. Uh, and I can also click on the, allows me to rotate him a little bit. I can turn him to a certain uh, place. Um, I can also change the size of the image here and even make him a little bit wider or longer depending upon where I pull that. Okay, so um, a couple of things by once I bring in an image, I can, a the, I can actually change the properties of that element simply by clicking on this here, this element. Right now it has me drawing, taking 30 seconds to draw him. Uh, I, don't, I think that's uh, taking too long for most projects. I usually like to do something like three or four seconds. So I click on four, allow that. If I click play here, it allows me to actually watch what, what it looks like when he draws it. So here they draw him in four seconds. All right. Uh, the other, I have some other options besides drawing him. I could also have it just be moved in from off the campus off the canvas, I could go ahead and click on that and it looks like a hand just sort of sliding him on. It takes four seconds to do that again. Uh, the other, I can also have him being morphed from something else. Uh, so let's say I wanted him to change from a dog into a person. I can click on that uh, and do that as a morph again. It takes about four seconds to morph it. Another important part to understand is after the image has been created, it pauses right on that frame for, for in this case, for half a second. You can change the length of that and then how long it takes to go to the next part here is under the transition. All right, so if I, here's my morph, I'm gonna click on the check there. Uh, I can actually go ahead and play, see what that looks like. I already put some music in here. Uh, but that was him being morphed from the dog and we can change the frame. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do that right now. If I click on that person I just created, one of the things that we, we saw there was zoomed in on the dog and then very quickly it was zooming in on this area so I didn't really get to see the whole thing happening. Uh, let's say I actually wanted to use, be able to see the whole picture right now looking at this for, uh, for that particular frame. Well, I can actually click on this little camera down here that sets the camera to the current, current canvas position. I can zoom in or zoom out here in the canvas and be able to see this. And, and move it around here and then click on the, where uh, this guy right there and then actually set that to be the camera position for that uh, for the whole thing. All right, a um, couple other things here. I can add text in here like the where I wrote dog here. I can throw add some text to the canvas. I just click on that. I type in my message. Um, hello. All right. And now I have the word hello. I can again change the shape and all that. Put that in there. Um, I right now it's set to draw one and a half seconds to be able to do that um, and I'll show you some other stuff with that in a little bit okay uh, we can also add charts we can add music I already put some music in here um, but I, if I click on that it allows right now I've got it set for cookies and milk 60 um, I can choose any of the music that they have on there or what, what I did actually was I brought in a file uh, that I had gotten um, from free, free play music and brought it in there. Uh, I can also, uh, if there's an actual URL from a web, I can put it in there from there as well. All right, I'm going to keep the song that I had on there. I can also add narration. In fact, I could do a voiceover and start recording right now and with, with myself talking, or I could, I actually have my students do this ahead of time, do uh, spend a lot of time on their writing, uh, and then 
record the MP3 file or uh, and actually bring it in here. It has to be an MP3 file. So actually using uh, QuickTime doesn't make an MP3, but you can easily convert it. And uh, um, there, there's a few programs that, on the internet that you can use to convert things to MP3 files. All right, and then you can just import it in here. Uh, on top of that, um, we can uh, change the background. We can change the paper texture. I could make it a little bit, you know, grainier in the background or gray. Um, and this one's kind of cool. Uh, for selecting a different hand for the scribe, I can have a right-handed hand, which I think is what it's set at right now, a left-handed. Um, I could even just have a particular uh, pen come in here. So I can click on various pens in here. Let's say I want to do a, uh, this, this as my... Um, Pen and this is rather than a hand, it actually has a pen just drawing it, or I can actually um, there are other choices like a zipper. Um, there and there's here some actual people have created some uh, different hands that they've put in there, and you can choose any of those. I'm going to leave it as the default right now. See, let's go ahead and try the zipper. See what that looks like. Okay. All right, and then. Uh, Again, this one allows me to play the whole scribe so I can watch it from beginning to end. We'll do that at the end. Uh, this is important because if we want to actually publish this scribe, we need to click on this one. So at the end, when we're done, we actually can click on publish and we can either download, if you've actually, if this is a paid subscription, which uh, if you're with ASIJ, you should be able to do that. Um, if it is the free trial, you can um, download it to, uh, or upload it to YouTube. Or Facebook or some of uh, some other programs, uh, but you can't actually create it just a video file unless it's the paid version. Okay, uh, just a couple more things down here. Um, another thing that you can do is actually create um, a copy of a particular image. So, for instance, for this, let's say I want to click on this particular arrow and I want to copy it, and uh, now I can actually paste it. I've got a new uh, arrow right on top of it. I can drag that, for instance, down here, and I've got a new um, file here. Uh, so, and I'm going to change the properties of this element. I actually want this arrow to morph from this arrow. What it's going to make it look like is it actually is um, makes it animated, makes it look like it's moving. All right, it takes about a second to get there. And now, if I go ahead and press play here, Uh, I actually need to change the, the frame here so that I, I can actually see it better. All right, so if I'm, I need to change the where it is. So if I want to watch that arrow slide all the way over here, uh, I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. Click on that arrow, and I'm going to tell it to um, set the camera to the current canvas position for that particular arrow. All right, and so now um, when I press play there, that arrow actually moves like that. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and play uh, this whole thing um, up here so that we can see what various things. That I actually have the cat set to change, in, to morph into the dog. Um, and I have that arrow set to actually, uh, and I think the dog morphing into the person and the arrow morphing into this arrow, by, which makes it look like it's just moving. That works pretty well with black and white. Uh, for the images that are color, the color disappears and then comes back at the end. I haven't found a good way of doing that yet. So here's what we have so far. All right, it's a little weird with that zipper. Drawing the cat. The cat can morph into the dog. Uh, we actually just write the word dog. Draw the arrow. And the arrow slides to the next arrow. And the dog morphs into the person. You can see that's a little awkward with the colors in there. And there's the whole thing. Okay, so those are all the basics that we can do with that. Um, I don't know if I'm leaving anything out here. I think that's about it.